just finished doing a uh, video on cutting fabric on a CO2 laser uh, from a viewer's question and how you can do it and I thought well since I'm up here in the laser room I'm going to do the same with the diode laser so here's a piece of polyester with a bigger cut out of it and I'm going to be using the we create laser here because it is super super simple to use and you don't need any fancy software like Lightburn you can use their software, it's free, it comes with the laser and it's very very simple to use, I'm going to show you how easy it is coming up. So here's my little bears I've been cutting out, we got denim we've got the 100% uh, polyester then we've got a cotton polyester blend like uh, you get in a t-shirt and we have what's called Sunbrella which is a very thick uh, marine type canvas and it does a very very good job of cutting it however the settings are not going to be the same for this as it is for these three here actually the polyester uh, I ran at a higher speed because it's a much thinner material uh, the denim just to be a little bit of an explanation about it is from an old pair of jeans I didn't cut up a brand new pair to do this but I took a uh, part from the lower back of the leg where it's not all worn like it was on the front and around the knees and so on so I'll uh, show you how we get this set up. It's really easy. One thing you're going to want to do if you're going to be cutting fabric on here is uh, get yourself a stainless steel or aluminum piece of sheet metal that's flat. Don't get something that's all scrunched up and bent. Because uh, when your fabric is on that grate down there, as it cuts, uh, some of it can fall down in the little grooves and you won't get as good a uh, clean of a cut. Uh, you see a little bit of an outline of one of the bears I did on here but uh, it's useful for other there's some more bears and some fish it's other for uh, it's good to keep your fabric flat and speaking of the fabric being flat don't put something in there that's all wrinkled up it needs to be ironed it needs to be flat so let me get uh, some stuff set up here I'll uh, grab a piece of sunbrella We'll use that for this little example. This says piece of marine canvas. And I will just lay that in there so the camera will have something to look at. And I will close the lid. And now we'll go to the computer. Okay, I'm sure we're picking up some noise from my blower because I have my blower running to exhaust this outside. So uh, this is the one I just got done cutting, what's still on here. So I have my fabric laying in there now, so I need to uh, go back here and click on refresh. This is called the We Create Maker software. So here's my bear. I can put him anywhere I want on there. Put him over there in that corner. Now I'm going to keep this at 100% power. I'm going to slow it way down. This is a uh, fairly thick material. So we're keeping it at 100% power, but I'm going to take this down to about 20 millimeters per second. So. So I'm all set here for what I want to do. That's, like I said, it's just that easy. We bring your graphic in and put it where you want. In fact, uh, we'll do another graphic here too. I've got this set on cut. And of course laser flat. So what I want to do now is take this to autofocus. And once it's done uh, autofocusing, I come up here and I just click on start. This little window will pop open and give you a preview of what you're going to be doing there. And I just click on send. And I have to push the button on the front of the laser. So this is a little magic button I need to push to get this started. But before I start it, I'm going to try to get the camera to look down inside there. A uh, little bit of a challenge trying to video something like this. I may try to figure out a way to put a camera on the inside. But for now, I need to get repositioned. Okay, and now I just hit start.
right there. So I'll get another graphic set up and uh, take you through step by step here a little bit on the computer to show you how to do this. It's really easy. So I'm going to start a new project here. I'll go up here to file and then create. I know I don't want to save that. So you get a blank screen. Go up here. I have a piece of fabric sitting in there. Click on refresh. There you can see my piece of fabric and my piece of metal in there and the bear we just cut out. So now I just need to uh, bring in a file. And let's try a bird. Bird's a little big. We can size that down a couple different ways. One up, go up here and just put your dimensions in there. Or you can just pull this down the size you want. Put it over there on the material where you want it. Now I'm going to be doing a cut here. And my setting I just used was 100% power and that was 20 millimeters per second. Set this to autofocus. Okay, I'm going to make a little change here so that I can get this on video a little better because it being that low, it's going to be hard. So I'm going to take this and I'll move my bird up here. I should be able to get that in the video a little better and I should need to autofocus this again. But I'm going to. Okay, and I go up here and I hit start. Yes, my little stand here is wobbly. There's that preview again. I'll show you where the bird's going to be on the fabric. Just click send and I'll have to go push that button on the front. Okay, I got her over the top of the laser here. I just hit the little button. So there's a few little samples of uh, what you can do with a dial laser to cut out the shapes and you do not necessarily need to have one of these lasers. I just thought I would demonstrate it on this for someone that's uh, maybe brand new with this or is looking to get a, a really really easy to use laser because there's not a whole lot of thought you have to put into using one of these. So yes you could cut fabric with a dial laser. And there are some things you shouldn't cut. Uh, don't start cutting vinyl. You're, you're going to ruin your laser if you do. Uh, it, puts, it also puts out a uh, chlorine gas which is very very bad for your innards so don't be cutting vinyl on a, one of these or for that matter on a CO2 laser. It puts out uh, that chlorine gas and that chlorine gas will corrode anything and everything that's metal. Uh, so don't do the vinyl. Don't do anything PVC either. If you have a fabric that as PVC in the title of it, don't be cutting it on a laser. It puts out a chlorine gas as well. So, a little public service announcement there. Uh, again, this was using the WeCreate laser and using the uh, Make It software, which is very, very easy to use. I thought I would demonstrate it that way. You can also use uh, any other type of diver laser. Uh, Adam Stack, Rotor, Pick a Brand, X-Tool, whatever. They'll all do it. Uh, this, of course, is a 20 watt. Uh, did a fine job of it. Okay, now why would you want to cut fabric on a laser? Uh, there's a lot of craft projects where you need small uh, things like maybe you need a bunch of uh, little bears or birds. And when you diode cut it, or laser cut it, I should say, not necessarily diode but or CO2, the edges will not fray on. Uh, synthetic materials like the umbrella or on the polyester. On the denim, this is pretty well fused. I suppose if you mess with it enough, yeah, if you mess with it enough you can get it to fray. 
but it's a way to cut very intricate shapes if you need to do that. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. There'll be a link in the description on where to get one of these weak ray lasers. I'm sure they would be more than happy to send you one. And I'll also put a link in the description if you happen to have a CO2 laser. And you like to see how to do CO2, there'll be a video on that. There'll be a link in the description for it. And that's using a Monport 40 watt, which is sitting over yonder there. So since I got done doing one on that, I thought I'd do one on here. Thanks for watching. I'm Roger in the laser room, in the loft, above the shop. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.